All right, shalom, shalom. All right, let's double check the uh, audio real quick. Give me one moment. Everything's good, but uh, all right. Shalom, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, before I get started, as always, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, or Chachak Badash. All right, with Yahweh, that's Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and Chachak Badash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures, and salutations to all the brothers out there. And, um, you know, we're just going to get into a quick open forum. And this was inspired by um, class uh, uh, last night and also a conversation that I had with uh, one of the, uh, you know, elder brothers out here, one of the bishops, all right, uh, the brother Shikaria, okay? And uh, pretty much, you know, um, I was uh, late for class. Uh, I had a couple of uh, things to do, all right? Um, had to pick up a couple brothers and we ended up uh, showing up a little late and with that being said uh, El Uriah he ended up taking over class uh, 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 you know for me for a little bit okay and before I um, got there he was basically asking brothers all right about the Hebrew you know he asked you know uh, brothers to uh, you know recite the curses blessings okay he asked you know what several you know different names mean you know so on and so forth and brothers didn't really know it like that, okay? And so, you know, he was, um, he basically went in, you know, he, he, he was in a heavy uh, spirit of, you know, rebuking, you know, uh, you know, the brothers that were at class, okay? And, you know, as the scriptures say, hey, you got to study to show thyself approved, all right? And that, that's why I entitled this lesson, uh, you know, the open forum, you know, study to show thyself approved, the Hebrew, and getting, uh, and getting this for yourself. All right, because I'll say this. Another thing, too, as the brother Shakari and I were talking about last night, you as an individual have to get this for yourself. All right. You know, you got to want it. All right. Don't do this because man is telling you, you know, to do these things. No, do it because you want to um, please your how about Shimei Al-Shad. You want to be a better man of the Lord. You want to get more knowledge, wisdom and understanding. You see, that's the spirit you should be in. You shouldn't be doing these things because it's a you know a chore, so to speak. All right, don't have that mindset. Cause I'll say this: if you got that mindset, you know what? You're not gonna uh, go far in this, and and through the spirit, man, you, you you'll fall out, man. All right, cause you're not really sincere at the end of the day, you know. But let's get this uh, Second Timothy um, uh, two and fifteen. All right, you know what? Let me just get it on my phone, cause I actually want to go into one of the words. All right, but this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 15. It says here, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. And uh, I looked up that word study, and it goes into um, uh, giving diligence, okay? So you got to be diligent in this thing, all right? And if you're diligent, that's going to require discipline. And if you have discipline, that means you're going to um, you're gonna be doing a lot of sacrificing, okay? You're going to, you know, put that extra time into reading, all right, going into the Hebrew, going into the history, okay, you're not going to be, you know, I, you know, during your free time, you know, I'll say it like this, uh, you know, uh, you know, being with that woman, chasing, you know, chasing the woman, all right, you're not going to be, you know, playing video games, playing, you know, basketball, shooting dice, you know, uh, 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 playing pool like that. Now, of course, there's a balance if you, if you want to do these things, you know, from time to time, so be it, all right, but if you're really... You know, try, trying to get this uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right? Your free time is going to go into studying, okay? You see? Then the, there's times where you're going to have to, uh, you know, lose that sleep in order to, you know, get that extra read again, all right? To watch that, you know, that extra video. You see? You know? You got to be diligent. And like I said, that requires discipline. But let's uh, go back to this. Uh, this is 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now let's go into this word, um, rightly dividing. Okay? It's uh, ortho, 
ortho ortho tomeo all right that's the greek for it and um one of the definitions all right this definition two and we're going to get straight to the point here it says to teach the truth directly and correctly you see yeah you uh, we as men of the lord need to teach this truth directly and correctly all right there is no gray areas we it is what it is okay it's either white or black so to speak you know that's it one plus one is two you know it's not you know one plus one is a uh, three okay no 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 it's one plus one is two and that's that that's how we got to teach okay you know and we want to make sure that we're um you know you know handling uh, uh the word properly all right handling this sword properly because you know this is a uh, uh, as the scriptures say, this is a uh, uh, the, the word of the Lord, is a two-edged sword. So we want to handle this uh, uh, this sword properly. Because if we don't, we're going to cut ourselves. Okay, we're going to get sliced and diced our damn selves. You see, you know, and we want to be on point because what, what do the scriptures say? We got to be uh, ready to give an answer to every man. All right, let me see if I can find that. This is um, this is uh, 1 Peter 3 and 15. Let me see if there's anything above that. Now let's get straight to the point. This is uh, 1 Peter 3 and 15. But sanctify the Lord, Yahweh, your power in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So we got to be uh, ready to always to give an answer. Okay? Because you don't know when the Lord is going to put you on the spot. Okay, and you don't know when a brother's gonna call you asking about you know X Y Z breakdown. You don't know when you know while you're on the line if somebody's gonna come up and uh, ask you, okay, about the truth. They may have never heard of you know uh, of you know the Hebrew Israelites, okay. And they they ask you, you know, hey, what's this about? And I was uh, telling the brothers, all right, towards the end of class when uh, LB arrived, you know, he had to uh, depart. I uh, was go, you know, telling the brothers like, you know, we, you know, we need to get into a, you know, because you know, going back to the, um, you know, uh, um, the beginning of the uh, the class session was, you know, the Hebrew. I told Akim we we need to get into the, uh, to to knowing the meaning of the 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 the, the, um, the name of the tribes. Okay, you know, you know, like for instance, you know what you know Judah means. All right, you, you know, which that's Yahweh in the Hebrew, you know, which means a a, 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 a Yahweh praises. All right. You know, you see, uh, um, you know what Asher means, which is, that's Ashar in the Hebrew, which is happy, so on and so forth. And I was telling the brothers, you know, basically these uh, names, they have uh, omen nomens, all right, which means name predictions, which that helps you um, basically uh, identify the tribes, man, because, you know, uh, those names that were put on our, our people... That, that you know that 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 that, that, uh, that plays a role into into their character, so to speak. All right, you see. And I was telling the brothers, hey, we got to know these breakdowns of uh, these tribes, okay? You know, and I started asking the brothers, you know, well, how, how do you break down, you know, a uh, uh, gad, uh, bring it out. The brothers didn't really know how to break it down. I asked them about you know Asher, so on and so forth. They didn't really know these things. So, you know, and these are younger brothers, you know, who, 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 you know, been in the faith for just, you know, a little bit of time. But point being, though, is like I was telling them, hey, you, you got to be on top of it because you don't know when somebody is going to come up and ask questions. And you have to give them an answer. This is why it's so important to study. This is why it's so important, you know, to, 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 to be diligent. All right. Don't take this uh, grace period for granted. Get on top of your, your, your stuff, man. Okay, you know, there's a lot to do in this truth. Yeah, I've been saying this for you know a long time, and I heard this you know first from the apostles. On down, this truth is not just about cursing out Esau, the so-called white man, and cursing out you know the the the, the black woman, the Hispanic woman all day, man. All right, it, it, you know that's a part of this truth, but that's not everything. There's much more to it. All right, you know, you really got to get into this. You know, and it's very important. Hey, because you know what? Let's read that again. Let's read that, uh, that uh, what is that, that Peter. This is uh, 1 Peter 3 and 15. 
but sanctify the Lord Yahweh in your hearts, all right, meaning your minds, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Okay, you see, we got to uh, really be ready. And because uh, a lot of our people, they're looking for answers right now. They're looking for answers, you see. And we got to give it to them. We have to give it to them. All right. You know, for, you know, starting off with, you know, the people that, you know, uh, the, the, the newly, you know, the, the new sheep. All right. And then go, you know, going, you know, on down, man. You know, brothers that are seasoned in this. Hey, you know, even like how the Uriah said, you, you know, uh, 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 hey, brothers who've been in, you know, in it for some time. You know, because like I said, going back into the, you know, uh, to the Hebrew situation. Hey, uh, us older brothers, we got to know these prayers so we can teach it to the younger brother. So they can be what? Become a, a, a better priest. Because like uh, the elder was saying when he was, you know, uh, uh, you know, calling brothers out. You know, like how he, he told the one brother, I'm sick. <clears throat> you know, I ain't feeling good, brother. Anoint me. The brother didn't know the anointing prayer like that. Okay. And then the, how the Uriah said, he's like, man, you know, I, 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 I could have been dead, man, by the time you, you know, you, you started, you know, anointing me. You get on top of it. We're supposed to be a, a, a priesthood. And let's get that. Let's get that in the book of uh, uh, Exodus. I think it's the 19th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. All right. We're supposed to be the, uh, the, the nation of priests. There we go. That's what, how it's worded. This is yep, Exodus 19 and 6. All right. Um, you know, let's go up, up above. This is uh, Exodus 19 and 5, main points in 6. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. Okay, so we got to obey the voice of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Keep the covenants, all right? And get on top of our stuff, man. You know, got to study to show ourselves approved unto the Most High. Because that, I'll say this, that goes into your faith and your works, actually. Okay? Because they, they, they brothers say that they got faith, right? That they believe, all right, in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right, but uh, as the scriptures say in the book of James, you know, how, how are you going to say that you have faith, but you have no works? They, these are works. They, 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 like I said, they, they taking that, uh, that hour out of your day to go study, okay? You know, to 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 to, to get into the history, the Hebrew, so on and so forth, man. All right, hey, hey, the precepts. You know, that 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 shows your faith right there. You see, so we got to do these things. This is uh, Exodus nineteen and five. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then shall then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. For all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. You see, we're supposed to be a kingdom of priests. And like the elders said, all right, yesterday, how are you going to call you know yourself a Hebrew Israelite if you don't know uh, the Hebrew? How are you going to be a priest if you don't know the Hebrew? You have to get into these things, and like the uh, the elder said, a, 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 a lot of individuals don't uh, 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 they don't like getting into it because it, it is boring, okay? Because it requires you know a uh, uh, time, it requires discipline, it requires you actually you know uh, uh, really studying, okay? And a lot of people don't like doing that, man. And yes, brothers in this truth, or brothers, you know, that say, or, or people, I'll just say, just in general, that say that they're in this faith. And we always talk about it. And you could, hey, uh, the apostle Tahar, or, you know, the other apostles, the, other, the elders of the camps can sit there, all right? Uh, 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 the, the title of their video will be, you know, Esau kisses, all right, the boots, all right, of the prophets. That'll get two. 2,000 views, all right, in, in, in two hours. But if, if you have a, a title, 
All right, in the video about, oh, okay, uh, you know, Hebrew 101, okay? Uh, going into the Lord's Prayer, the curses and blessings uh, in, in the Hebrew. Man, you barely get, you know, 20, 20 views, 30 views. And we're talking about the apostles, eh? 50 views maybe, you know? We're talking about t the, the top men of Israel barely getting any views on those videos. But like I said, but then you get a, a video about, you know, Esau kissing, all right, your boots. Or, oh, uh, cursing off the black woman in downtown. Next thing you know, like I said, that's got 2,000 views, 3,000 views in two hours. See, a lot of people, they don't want to, uh, they, they want to be entertained. They don't really want to get, get into these things. All right? Hey, but look. Hey, hey that, that video, you know, uh, about Esau, you know, kissing, all right, the prophet's boots. That's not going to help you when all hell breaks loose. When, when, when you're in a concentration camp. Like I was telling the brother Shikaria, man, when we were on the phone. Oh, no, no, Salaki, when I was uh, talking to the young uh, uh, brother Mashaba, all right? I was saying, look, man, we got to get have these pr prayers on lock, all right? Because when all hell breaks loose, we're not going to be able to look at our phone and, oh, okay, you know, what's the anointing prayer? Okay. Or you're not going to be able to go, all right, into your backpack and pull out the Hebrew packet. No, you, you got to have these things in your mind. You might be in, in, in the uh, concentration camps, all right, for, 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 for weeks, months. Okay? Do hey, you think Esau's going to say, hey, it's cool, man. Yeah, you could go uh, uh, read your scriptures. You could go uh, look at your, you know, Hebrew packet. You could go. Do you think Esau's going to do that? No, he's not going to do that, man. All right? So that's why you got to get this now because it needs to be locked in here, man, in your mind. All right? You see, a lot of Jake, they don't want to, uh, like I said, these things are boring. They, they take effort. You know? But uh, but like I like the L.B. Rye said, how are you gonna call yourself a priest if you don't know these things? You see, you know. But um, um, oh man, there was another scripture that came to mind. Oh, hey, you gotta get uh, that, that's what it was, because the last part of this um lesson was uh talking about how uh, you, you gotta get this for yourself, okay. You have to get this for yourself. You as an individual have to want these things. You got to be addicted, all right, to this truth as the scriptures say, okay? And you, you, you know what, let me get this. Let me get this scripture real quick. This is uh, Philippians chapter 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You see, you got to uh, do these things, you know, not just in the presence of the brotherhood, but also in the absence of the brotherhoods. All right? You, like I said, hey, you got to want this for yourself. You know, hey, brothers, sh you know, uh, shouldn't be, you know, uh, uh, holding your hand and saying, okay. It's time to go study. No, you should be doing that yourself. Okay, you know what? I got to, you know, take this 30 minutes, this hour, all right, out of my day to study. You know, I'm going to do that, you know, four times out the week. I'm going to do a solid, you know, sit, you know, sit down, study my, you know, what I got to study, all right, and go from there. You know, like the other days I got a lot going on. I got work, errands to run. You know, maybe I can just, you know, watch videos or listen to videos while I'm doing things. You know, that's how I get my studying. And you know what I'm saying? You got to really, you know, uh, plan these things out. Okay? You can't be, you know, simple in this truth. All right? Since simplicity is not, you know, I'll say this, you know, it does talk about the simplicity of Yahweh Bashim Shai. But for, you know, I'm, you know, just saying this loosely. You can't be simple in this thing, man. You know? You got to really be on top of your, your game, man. All right? Because look, the, the, the Lord, man... I, like I was telling the brother, man, if you really want to be a part of the 144,000, all right, you got to be above and beyond, man. The the, the 144,000 aren't, you know, low-level men, okay? If you really want that 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 position, you know, you're you're striving for that. You you can't be low-level, okay? You know, it requires a lot. That's why the scriptures say, "Much is given, much is required." You know, if you're a part of, you know, that number, you, you, a lot is required out of you. 
That means you're not going to have a, a lot of fun on this side, so to speak. You're going to be, you know, you're going to uh, lose your life in this world, as the scriptures say. But ultimately, it's to do what? To gain it, man. All this is is worth it at the end, end of the day, man. You know? It's going to benefit you. All right? Hey, this is a part of your sacrifice to Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know? So get on top of it. All right? But, that, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, uh... Oh, you know what? I'm going to get one last scripture. Because, um... Because I said you got to, you know, want this for yourself. Because, look, I'll say this. We're all going to get judged, okay? You know, by Yahweh Hashem Shai according to our works, right? My works can't save you. Your works can't save me. Okay. And we're all, you know, on that uh, on that path, man. And we're walking one by one. All right, because it says here in Second uh, Ezra seven and one. <clears throat> it says here. Uh, give me one second. It says, and when I had made an end of speaking these words, there was. Uh, sent unto me the angel which had been sent unto me the nights afore. And he said unto me, Up, Ezra, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I, and I said, Speak on my power. Then, then said he unto me, The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. But put the case, the entrance, were narrow and like a river. Who then can go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he would not uh, uh, through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field, and it is full of all good things. Talking about uh, the, the kingdom. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right and uh, the, and the left a deep water. Okay? And... One only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. You see, only uh, one man can go at a time. You know, so uh, we're not, you know, we're not um, holding hands into the kingdom, so to speak. Now, hey, uh, you know, there, there's a thing called what, like you know, when you were a kid, follow the leader, right? Now, you know, hey. We're following the leader, you know. You know, Yahweh Shai is that okay? But then, behind him, all right, would you know would be King David, okay? So you know the apostles, so on and so forth, all right. And we're hey, you got to follow the person in front of you, but we're not holding hands with each other. You see, you know. You so you got to want this for yourself, okay? You really got to want this, all right. And let me uh, read a little more. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he shall never, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And I said, It is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, Even so also is Israel's portion. So we got to go through these things. We got to go through the, you know, that fire, that hell. All right, in order for us to to get into the kingdom, man. Okay. And like I said, we're gonna have to do you know a lot of sacrificing in this. And studying is a sacrifice. You have to be diligent, because hey, like I said, going uh, back to that word study, the, you know, in the, 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 the Second Timothy, that word study goes into you know giving diligence. And if you're you know diligent, you're gonna have discipline. And if you 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 know if you're disciplined, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have to sacrifice. You see. So these things aren't. Um, it's not an easy thing, so to speak. Okay going to require a lot out of you but at the end it's worth it like i said you want to know these breakdowns so then you can answer all right properly you can teach this word correctly and directly all right because then i'll say this the scriptures talk about adding and taking away all right from the scriptures and you don't want to do that that's why you you got to uh know these breakdowns properly got to know the hebrew because they, like i said there might be one day where all hell's breaking loose, and you, you don't have access to, to your, you know, your cell phone to go on to the internet or to look at your photos to look up the prayers. All right, you're you're not gonna have a Hebrew packet with you, you know. 
So you got to know these things now. And it's got to be stored up in here. You see? Well, you know, I'm uh, basically in the lesson. Uh, I'm going to check the comment boards real quick and see if a uh, brother posted a scripture. I uh, actually didn't look. And, uh, you know, for the most part, we're going to end uh, out this lesson. All right. Hey, but hey, Shalom, Mark. You know, brother just uh, posted a, you know, Yaquat, Judah, Israel. All right, but you know, hey, with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shemel, Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and salutations to all you brothers. Shalom.